Hello, my name is Sasan Hajrasuliha. I'm a senior Microsoft Specialist Solutions Architect at AWS. Many of you have servers running on different platforms and different environments. Your servers are spread across on-premises, AWS, or other cloud providers. They are running different operating systems with different underlying hardware or hypervisors. Like many of our customers, you might be looking for a solution to bring all servers of such diverse characteristics under a single pane of glass for better management and governance. If that's the case, then this video is for you. In this video, I'm going to show you how easy it is to bring servers that are running outside of AWS under the management of AWS Systems Manager. AWS has a broad set of services targeted toward management and governance, a few of which you see on screen. One of those services is AWS Systems Manager. Systems Manager, or SSM as the acronym goes, is an umbrella under which different features are put, each helping customers with a category of management and governance requirements like node management, ITSM related features, application management, and etc. When it comes to node management, you have to have a properly configured SSM agent on the instances you want to manage with SSM. Once you have the SSM agent installed and configured, all management communications happen over a secure outbound channel from the managed instance to SSM services endpoints. So no inbound port is required for the managed instances. With machine images provided by Amazon, the agent is already included in the instance. For servers running on-premises or on other clouds, you need to install and configure the agent. Let's show you how quick and easy it is to do so. Okay, so here's my AWS environment. As you see, I'm in the Ohio region for this demo. In my current environment, I have two instances running. If I go to SSM, which stands for Systems Manager, uh, then go to Fleet Manager, I can see that those nodes are already under the management of SSM. Um, and here, as you see, it is my on-prem environment. It's a Hyper-V server with two virtual machines running on it. And I want to bring these two under management of SSM. So the first thing I need to do is to create an IAM role that eventually my agents will use to um, call the SSM endpoints and um, communicate with that. Uh, come here. I'm going to create a role. I'm choosing AWS service. And here I will use system manager. And under system manager, I'm going to use this option to allow agent to call the SSM endpoints with this role. When it comes to assigning permissions to this role, all my required permissions start with Amazon SSM. So instance core is the required one. Optionally, I will add directory service access because I know down the road I will have instances on my on-premises environment that I want to automate their domain joining using SSM. So role name, any arbitrary name, I would use SSM hybrid role. Permissions, policies, and everything is good. I can optionally add tags if I want to and create role. Great, our role is created. And what I need to do next is to create a hybrid activation code. I'll go back to my SSM. Here I have hybrid activation. I click create an activation here. Activation description, I would say use for the Hyper-V environment. Instance limit, right now my environment has only two virtual machines, but to allow further growth, I would type in 10. 
Here you see a description that tells you about the limits that we have on SSM, which we later on we go there and we change that because there are some features that we want to use with the advanced mode. In the IAM role, we're going to use the IAM role that we just created, and that was SSM hybrid role. That's great. Activation expiry date. These activation codes, they come in by default with a 24 hour validity period. If you want a longer validity period, you can type in an expiration date for it. And as you see in the description, it cannot be more than 30 days in the future. 24 hour default is fine for my demo. So I'm going to leave it like that. The default instance name, we're going to manage with servers that are not AWS EC2 instances, but we want to have a unified view with those EC2 instances that they do have a name tag with the value of the uh, server name. So if we want to have those, we can type in a instance name here. And later on, when we are browsing our managed instances, this name will show up for those servers. For now, we're going to leave it empty. So create activation. The activation is created and this is the only time that we have the chance to copy and keep them and that's what we are going to do so open up a notepad activation code here and activation id you have to do that we go to view details so I have my activation now. What I'm going to do is to install the agents on my Hyper-V virtual machines individually. So there is a little script that is out there in our documentation for convenience. This is our documentation. This is the script that we're going to copy. Then go back to the virtual machines. I'm going to open up the ISE because there are some values I need to pop in. Okay, great. So for the code, I have this activation code here. For the activation ID, I have that one. The region of my choice is Ohio, which as you see in the console, the code for that is US East 2 on the right. So that's what we're going to type in the script. Okay, so US East dash two and the rest of the script, we can simply use the way it is. So let's run. It downloaded the agent. It is running the installation. We're still running the script. And as you see, we get a manage instance ID back. Uh, state is running, SSM agent is up. Everything should be ready. Let's run the same process on the second server as well. This is my second server. And the instance is installed. And the manage instance ID is there as well. So let's see if we can see them in our environment now. Going back to systems manager. Going to the fleet manager. And voila, both of them are here. If I upgrade my account to go to the advanced tier from the standard tier, I'll get all this added benefits that you see in the box. So one of the feature sets that I will get is um, being able to manage my on-premises environment using session manager. So let's do that and see if it's possible to actually see those here. And now if I go back, this is my manage instance, select them, 
connect with remote desktop. As you see, uh, Fleet Manager allows me to have four different uh, remote desktop connections. And as you saw on the slide, I don't need to have any ports open for any of them um, to make this functionality happening. What I'm going to do is to type in the credentials for all of them. Credentials are typed in. So let's see if that works. Well, I have the clipboard feature as well. Let's allow that. And there they are. As you see, my local session that I had to those instances are terminated because now it's SSM which is connected to those instances and I can manage and maintain them as if there are EC2 instances like this one on top right and this one at the bottom. Side by side, single pane of management for your Windows and Linux environments if you like. Thanks for watching.